Hello everyone, it's time for the next SCR system test. To start the video, we're going to be testing the heat detector that I have placed up here in the attic. And it takes a second to activate. And as we can hear, the system did just go into alarm and the light on the heat detector is flashing red that and this indicates that the heat detector is an alarm. So let's go on down and see the alarms. So as we can see for this alarm right here, we have a white Wheelock CH70 chime strobe. So instead of a loud horn, it has a nice soft quiet chime. And this is great for places such as hospitals. And also over here we have another Wheelock CH70 chime strobe. And this is in a red version, not a white version. Both of the strobes are set on 15 candela, and since they are four wire devices, I have them wired up so that the strobes continue to flash even though the panel is silenced. Which, I feel like I say this in every video, is a feature that I very much like. So we can go ahead and silence the panel and test another device. In the last system test, I got a lot of requests to put a double action pull station inside of the STI stopper protective cover. This right here is the STI stopper, it's actually a mini stopper and it basically protects the fire alarm pull station from debris and whatnot. Inside of the pull station, I did hear your requests, and I have a double action Potter lift and pull pull station. We can look at the exact model in a moment once we pull it. And the stopper also has another feature which is optional. I have this setting on in this test, where if you lift the cover, it will sound its own indiv individual alarm. And this mainly helps prevent false fire alarms from kids or whatnot who decide to go up and pull the alarm. Oh no, everyone's now looking at them. So it actually does stop a lot of false alarms. All right, we'll go ahead and pull the alarm. It's a special little piece that you can use to silence it. So as you can see, I have this alarm set on a higher pitched tone, and this alarm is set on a lower pitched tone. Makes kind of a cool sound. All right, we can go ahead and reset the pull station. This one takes a hex wrench. Just open it up and then you can lift the handle back up. Put the little double action piece back down. And then we can also see the model while we're in here. The model is extremely long so I'm not gonna say it, but if you need to know the model, you can just pause the video and write it down. All right, and then the pull station, and you can just snap back in, and then close the stopper. All right, now that the pull station is reset, and there is no longer a fire emergency, we can reset the entire system, which will take about a minute. All right, everyone, that was the Wheelock CH70 chime strobes on my Kitty FX-64 fire alarm control system and this is protecting my garage. Thank you everyone for watching and have a great day.